What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Let's talk some more Buccaneer football. Stuff's getting exciting. I mean, training camp's already here. And guess what? We've made a massive signing. Julio Jones, we talked about that earlier. Let's break them down. Let's break the tape down. This is the fun stuff. So Julio Jones, known for being one hell of a receiver, down the field threat, big target. Let's break down his numbers a little bit. I mean, the Titans, he was just traded to last year. Then they cut him. He has these little injury concerns, as you can see there. Only 400 yards last year. The year before that, 700 yards. But he had the foot injury, had to take the rest of the year off. But still, is there anything left in the tank? He's more of a down-the-field target. The Titans used him a little bit inside too much. And we're going to break that down. So let's look at the actual tape and see how will he be used here in Tampa. That's the biggest thing everyone wants to know. And what is he going to be good at? So let's break it down. Let's get our faces out of the damn way. Julio Jones. So Julio Jones, everyone hears the name. They get fearful of him because he is that damn good. So let's break it down. Plus, initially, what do you see from here? End zone, red zone target. How's he going to attack here in Tampa Bay? Yeah, here, you know, in the bunch set, he's just going to kind of run like a little drag route towards the back of the uh, the end zone here and makes a hell of a play. I mean, this is a great catch. Again, he's just running to a spot, does a great job of just kind of separating there at the end, and then a nice hands catch and go up and get the feet down as well. Yeah, they show opposite angle in this play here. I mean, he's going to come in from the bottom of your screen right here, kind of go behind the linebackers. I think they try to use him against the linebackers a little too much, but... I mean, uh, to me, if I'm Julio Jones, I want to stay on the outside and do what I do. But they're using them different ways. I can see the creativity with it. And look at the footwork here. Bop, bop, boom, boom. And imagine Tom Brady seeing this. I mean, this is an area in the red zone. You need to make quick decisions and understand spacing. There was no space. I mean, he's covered right here, bottom of your screen. He's throwing to an area. That's something Tom Brady does very, very well. Now he's going to have Julio Jones on one side, Mike Evans the other, Chris Godwin in the slot. Good luck, guys. Good luck, defenses. So now you're going to see him here. Typical spot where he's usually in outside, using that leverage, speed, size, everything to his advantage. What do you see here, Plus? Right. Like you said, you know, using that outside speed and leverage uh, does a great job of setting this route up, uh, really stems at the top of the route, you know, forcing that defender to back off a little bit, creates that space, and then goes and gets the football. Uh, you love You love to see it. Yeah, and look how high he's getting up. So maybe he's 33, maybe he lost a step of speed. He still has got that vert. I mean, he's still got ups to go after the ball, attack the ball at the highest point. Really like that. And does he still have deep speed? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he has enough. Maybe not 21-year-old Julio, but as you can see on the top of your screen here, he still has enough to go and go get it. Just throw the ball into space and see what we can get with a massive play here. What do you see? Right. I, what I noticed first is just the route, you know, concepts uh, in his deception of footwork. It's really good. He shows like this could be potentially an outside uh, route with a little head fake towards the sideline and then does a great job of uh, cutting it back to the middle of the field, really setting this up for an easy throw for Tannehill to really just lay it in there. And you see the space he's already created because of that little hesitation move. And it just sets it up so well. And, and again, a great play. He still has plenty of juice left in the tank. Absolutely. I like that you m mentioned that. Just that little head fake, little planting the foot down. The defense is reactionary. And if he's giving little subtle head fakes and leans, they have to react to it. And here, again, he's one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker again. But you would normally think a speedster would kind of burn this linebacker. Either way, securing catch with the man right on him, gets to the sideline. I like it. I mean, that's just different ways they used him. And look where he's at. He's not necessarily fully outside. They're dragging him across the field. How's Tampa Bay going to use him? I doubt it's going to be like this, but it's good to know that he can be used in that fashion. And here he is on Atlanta. What do you see here on this one? Well, here again, it's kind of similar to that, you know, that deep post that we saw this time. He's setting it up where he's making the, uh, the corner thinking, okay, I'm going inside the whole time. But again, just that little hesitation move creates that separation to the outside we've seen chris godwin do this you know plenty of times and you know julio can definitely be a guy that can do stuff like this to create space again reverse angle here you're going to see it where he's setting the guy up inside goes back outside you see the separation and just a great job of completing the catch and getting upfield yeah so savvy veteran i mean you don't get numbers like the way he did in, in atlanta so consistency and co so consistently unless you know what the hell you're doing it's not just god-given ability this guy setting himself up well, little shuffle steps, meaningful steps, and then cutting inside using your size to your advantage. If you're giving this man this much space, 
He knows what to do with the ball after. So, hell of a weapon. And to think of it, he's going to be option possibly number three behind Evans and Godwin. Who do you cover? I mean, there's options all over the field, even here. Like, all these guys went after Julio Jones. This guy's going to have wide open space. I think if Julio can be a distraction, Tom's hitting that over the top. It's, I mean, you got the best decision getting decision maker in the game, Tom Brady. I think he knows where he's going to go with the ball and how he can attack these mismatches. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, you talked about consistency. I mean, this guy has seven 1,000 yard seasons uh, in his career. And it's crazy that we're adding him to Mike Evans, who already has eight thousand yard receiving seasons. So it's just nuts to think about. But yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, utilizing him as a decoy or utilizing him and underneath like we see here uh, to create separation. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, wide open here, better football from Tannehill. I think this is, uh, you know, a nice completion for a first down. Uh, but, yeah, it's just stuff like that where you can see the the definitely possibilities for the offense. Yeah, and to me, this is just awareness of where he has to be. Like, he's not going to run into his own guy here. He's going underneath it, forcing that defensive back to run into him and be wide the hell open. And just spacing, yeah. He should have caught it probably, but a better ball makes it easier. It's a team, team game. Help your wide receiver out. Help the quarterback out. And, again, just showing that underneath stuff that they kind of did in the Titans – which he didn't do often in Atlanta. So I think get back to using him how he wants to be used. Outside, let corners and safeties have to shade over. And if you have to shade over, you're leaving Mike one-on-one, good freaking luck. That's all I'm going to say. Right, yeah. And I really like this play here. Again, they utilize him as a bunch uh, formation and just let him run underneath. And I could see it where, you know, maybe he's one of the guys that are going downfield and you do this for Chris Godwin or Mike Evans. Uh, but again, it just gives you the possibilities. I mean, we could easily see this move all day, uh, you know, the slant concept and catching the ball and getting upfield. Uh, again, if they're going to give them space like this, you got to take advantage of it. Yeah, and, I mean, everyone sees him as a deep down the field threat, but he's big. I mean, 6'3", 220. This guy's not the typical skinny, lanky, long dude. He's got size. He's got speed. Maybe not the 4'3", but deceptiveness is all there veteran savvy watch this little head fake and then get outside look what happens to the db like his db is already selling out i'm going this way little head shimmy and i'm getting outside i love to see this stuff julio jones very savvy player right and you're seeing the the veteran presence and i think that's the biggest thing that no one really is talking about as far as this addition i think it's going to be huge in that aspect because he can just bring a, a team mindset a team leadership to the table and making plays like this for Tom Brady. I mean, Tom's going to love this, you know, having the ability to throw to the open guy. But again, if chaos pursues and you need a guy <laughs> to make a play, I mean, he can still do things like this, which is still pretty impressive. Jump ball kind of tips it up to himself and goes and gets it. Uh, very impressive. That's nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, like you just said, if chaos pursues, like, boom, off a helmet, let me still get after it. Get my two feet down. Insane. Uh, but, I mean, either way, Tom Brady supposedly owes him a championship and since he stole it from him. Let's see if we can get a championship with Julio and see if he can put that next to his already monster-loaded Hall of Fame uh, resume. Or on that, guys, if you like this type of content, hit that like button down below. Are you excited to see Julio Jones and Pewter and Red? Let us know. If you're a Buccaneer fan, hit that subscribe button. We have plenty more content coming out for you guys. And with that said, until the next one.